Hello guys, welcome to today's segment. You know, um, I think it's been a while since I did um, an update for a recording. Uh, the reason is because, uh, you know, I'm following the G2 USD chart and that's why I'm bringing you a new update. So I'm just observing uh, the charts. Uh, if it gets to a stage where I think I need to give an update, then I come back to give the update. So um as you as you all know those who have been following um my analysis in the previous weeks as you all know um i've given my since about two months ago um i've been giving the signals on gbp usd and as you can see this particular one there's a um, GBP USD um, on the dates. Anyway, uh, it has two, they've been indicated two months. So this particular, let me pick my pen and then mark it out for you. So this two months ago, I released this two months ago. Um, I said I spotted a threat on GBP USD. And as you can even see from the thumbnail, I uh, and if you watch, you can go back. Uh, if you go back and watch it to do a lot of good, you can understand where I'm coming from uh, with this new update. Okay, so the exact threat I spotted on GBP USD, it that is uh, the exact thing that has played out perfectly. So you can check my uh, for my page and then watch that video. And then, so I'm going to build on it. This is the same video. So in that video, I said I I can um sense that GPUSD will be moving, will be crossing above this resistance way up. And I said it to, the purpose would be for stop loss hunting. So I told uh, those following my channel that. Don't have a tight stop loss. Have a one to one risk to reward with your nine eyes. I, I gave you where you should put the stop loss. And that's exactly what I personally did. So I'm still in the trade. And I told you that as the market, now let's go to the chart. Um, I said that as the market moves to. Okay, a moment. So I said it that as the market moves, as the market moves from here, as the market moves from this area and then breaks above this level, I told you it's going to hit this resistance. So I told you that the market makers will try and then hunt for stop losses. So even though I had entries at this level, I had my risk reward ratio one to one. So meaning um, I used the, because I was marking this place for my first TP. So I used the same distance to plot my stop loss. And uh, for me, I'm still in that trade uh on on my or the trading account that I've I, I, I've been using. So as and I uh like I said if you go back to that uh, presentation that I did two months ago I said when the market hits this resistance here this particular resistance line if the market hits it we are going to have a major drop there wouldn't be there wouldn't be a need for consolidation. There was going to be a major drop, and that is exactly what you are seeing. Okay, because the market has been stretching up. There were a lot of resistances that the market has been breaking through. The market uh broke this, broke here, and then broke this. So I knew that the moment it hits this resistance uh line, the market is going to make uh, a quick downfall so that's exactly what is playing out now from here what are we supposed to do um let me try 
clearing my charts. And then we can know what to do. So let's go to the weekly time frame. Let's go to the weekly time frame. So you can know that from the reason why I said I was expecting the market to come and hit that, you can realize that this, this is that particular trend line. This one, I took it from here. In the weekly time frame from here all the way to this place yes because the market has made um a lower low so that makes it a very um valid resistance line i would recommend you go through that um that that recording i spotted what i showed you from the beginning you really appreciate uh where the stage of the market where we are now, you really, you really appreciate it because it's exactly according to our prediction. So now you realize that the market has come to hit the resistance. So from here, what are we expected to do? Okay. So the market has hit this resistance and then the market has gotten a rejection down. This line, even though it was broken, this resistance line, this particular one, okay? Even though it was broken, the blue one, even though it was broken, the coming down from this area, so right now the market is descending to this level. The market may make a rejection here, up. But I would, I would be expecting the market to make a bounce up here and continue down. That's what I'll be expecting. Uh, it doesn't mean that's what is certainly going to happen, but I'll be, that's what I'll be expecting. So um, because currently the market has made a higher high at this level, let me note that for you. Let me clean this up because most of you, some of you may not know the reason why. If you've been following the updates, you understand the reason why I have this line here. Okay. So the market is going to make, has made a higher high from here. You know, if you take this as a high and then a low, this is a higher high. Okay, the market has broken this particular high. So that gives us, um, now we can rule a very valid, a very valid um, support line here, support trend line. Okay, a very valid support trend line. So now what's the ultimate thing? Uh, what would give me a full confirmation that GPUSD is going to continue its major down move uh, in months or weeks to come is when the market makes uh, a continual a continuous drop to this to hit below anywhere below this support line. So anywhere below this support line. I will continue, I will leave my entries. I will leave my entries expecting the market to go further down, probably to a level like this. That's this support level. So because we can have um, a support line there at this level. Yeah. So that would be my, the moment the market comes down, okay, the moment it comes down from here, like I said, it may make a rejection, a bit of rejection here, but I will still have my face remaining. But the moment the market comes and breaks this support line, that's a clue because the market can come and then bounce on that support line and then go up 
For that, when the market decides to go up, uh, we will be observing the reaction. And um, for the moment, for this moment, for this moment, any stop loss that I have, um, I'm moving it to this level. I'm moving it to this level. So, because um, I think the stop loss hands for me uh, seems to be over. Or I can also wait until the market breaks this uh, support line, like I said. That will be that will be the that will be um, the highest confirmation that the market is going to continue bending down. So for now, I am I, I'll say um that 85 to 90 percent sure that the market is going down. The moment the market breaks here, then I'm 99 percent sure that the market is going down. The moment the market breaks the support, I'll be 99 percent sure that the market is going down. And for that matter, I will leave almost every entry uh, that I've made, I will leave those entries to, to make their way, no matter how long it's going to take to make their way to this level. So um, this is what we have for GDP USD. Those of you who have been following, uh, for the moment, there are certain trends. As the market was moving up, we can spot one trend line from here. This is a trend line. And that trend line has been broken. OK? So now I'm confident at this moment that this market, uh, GBP USD, will at least, even if it it decides to make a retracement today, it will still come down to at least this level. So I'll be expecting if it breaks that level, then I'll be expecting the next thing I'll be expecting is for it to get to this level, and then I'll be expecting a break. But if it bounces off. That will be, uh, we have to now take caution because, but then the moment it gives, it just gives us even any, any small break like this, then for that, we are 99% certain that this market will be uh, traveling down. Yeah, we, so we may we'll be expecting a major drop uh, in the future, meaning USD is going to strengthen in the coming weeks and months. Okay, guys. So, um, like I said, we have that trend line. There's another trend line that you can also get from here. Uh, if I go to the lower time frame a bit, probably each hour, you can also have this trend line. Okay, and that has also been broken. So for now. Um, I'm ninety nine percent sure that the this market, even if it decides to make a replacement or not, the market will travel down to this level. At least this level, then I'm I'll be expecting it to uh, now continue making a down move. So for now, this for now GBP USD uh, swing traders. If you are swing trading. Um, buying isn't the, the 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 easiest decision to make is to sell. Even though yes, the market can. Uh, in fact, I've been expecting the market to make a retracement, probably to this level or to this level, and then go down. But for me, I'm still I'm still in my position. Whether I make the retracement or not, I'm still in my position. So um, for swinging, you know, when we our swing trades are. We have been in this trade for the past two to three months. So uh is is probably that may even be a position trading uh, for this um year. My swing trade on UPUSD has been a, a major one. So I'm not I'm not in a rush. So that's what we have for today. Um uh, kindly remember to subscribe, like follow, uh, like, and then comment. If you have any comment, leave the comment with us. Um, and then there is a link in the description um, to join our Forex 
and our to join our WhatsApp channel or our WhatsApp group. So kindly join the WhatsApp channel where I'll be, I'll be releasing updates as well. And then you can also join our WhatsApp group uh, from the same link. And there, there will be two different links over there. Join from any of them. Um, so see you guys on the next one. Thank you for staying with us on this one. Peace out.